what you see from uh, Gunnar Olszewski in the workout? I, you know, he did a good job. I mean, he's typical Gunnar. You know, it's the same thing you see on tape. You know, he does a good job of tracking the ball and, uh, you know, excellent punt catcher. He, you know, early in his career, had a really, really, really good uh, start. You know, he does a great job of getting the ball vertical. So, good player. He fumbled a couple with the Steelers this year. Mm -hmm. How much of a concern is that given that's what you guys are trying to fix? You know, it's that's just something ongoing. Like, that's something you're always trying to get better at. Ball security is something that we work every day. Uh, you know, and I talked to him, had a good talk with him about it, and I think he's in a good space, so we just got to keep working at it. That's all it is. You kind of talked us through Sunday where, you know, Greg is hurt, you got to put Shep back there, and then you take him out, just kind of what it was like managing that. You know, it's, it's always tough. You know, it was a tough day Sunday. I mean, you, you look at not just for the guys catching punch, you look at the kickers. Like, it, it was a tough day. You look at their guy, Joey, Joey struggled on the same end Graham struggled on. Uh, you know, their guy put a ball on the ground because it was just a tough day. It was gusty winds, and then you got two power punters that are left-footed, which is not easy to catch. So it, it was a whole it was a whole process, you know, and, it, and it's always, you know, it's it's never a good thing when you have to go through those things. But that's just that's ball that that happens, especially here in the Meadowlands. I mean, that's that's what you're going to deal with at times. You know, it's, I was here before when it was ten times worse than this. So I mean, it's just something you got to deal with. What's the conversation like with Shep after that? I mean, you can play some. Keep your head up. Let's go. Next play. That's all it is. I mean, you can't you can't dwell on what just happened. The most important play is the next one. So you just got to, you know, wipe that one out. One snap and clear and go to the next one. What have you seen, you know, with Eric's confidence, um, you know, returning punts back there with a couple of fumbles? Say it again. What have you seen from Eric's confidence, you know, with the couple of muffs? Um, you know, like I said, I – he catches balls out here every day. I mean, it's just I don't I don't see him losing any confidence. Uh, but I, again, it's just it's one of those days. I mean, it's it's a windy day, and it doesn't help you. Obviously, I mean, you don't feel good about it. But I mean, that's just something you have to deal with, knowing that you play in our in our uh, our stadium during this time of year. That's just you're gonna get wind gusts. You know, especially when they knock the stadium down. I mean, the uh, the trace track down. The wind patterns change in the stadium, so. It's just different, you know. How much? So what do you? What work? I guess with the wind pattern change, what work came went into that? Oh, I didn't realize it's it. totally different. When they knock down the the racetrack over there, it changed the whole wind pattern to one end of the stadium. So it's not like it used to be a definite wind pattern in the stadium, and once they knock the racetrack down, that far end to the left of our bench is just totally different. How's you know, that, so how's it different? it's just the wind swirls down that end and it pushes back, so it's it's just different. You know, and that's something that we just got to get used to. So what do you do to get Gunner, you know, ready for that? And how do you prepare for that? For uh, we'll, we'll get them all ready. We'll go, we catch balls in the stadium. I mean, we'll catch them out here. You, we, obviously, we know it's windy out here. So uh, that's just something that we'll do, you know, moving forward, just making sure we get acclimated uh, better to it. And just, and just to be able to use it to our advantage, you know, just being able to go over there and, and catch balls in the stadium. Leo, you're nice today. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Leo gave you a little bit of the credit on the on the field goal block. Um, said you moved him from backside to the front. What what did you see? I mean, was that intentional or well, was that I mean, just circumstantial? Yeah, it's it Leo's a great player. You know, and anytime you can get a put a great player in a position to make a play, you know, I all it is put him over there and <laughs> he did everything else, you know. I didn't make him with a seven one, you know whatever it is, 8-5 reach or whatever it is, but he's long. And uh, Joey does a really good job of getting the ball up quick. And, uh, you know, he made a play, and he was ready to make the play. The bar for is obviously ridiculously high. He's made like 90% of his field goals for the Giants. Is he going through anything that he's missed for already this year? No, I, I think it was, you know, it's a, a couple things, you know, with him. But it's just mainly just, you know, we have obviously we had one blocked, and then you know, then he was kind of banged up on the next one that he had to kick because you know he may had to make a tackle. So, it, it's nothing crazy, you know. It's nothing like I told him yesterday. I was like, we're not gonna make a bigger deal of this than what it is, and we've seen Graham get on a hot streak. Like we've seen him make 30 kicks, 34 kicks, 33 kicks in a row, right? So. And that's just what, you know, again, the bar is set high, but we know what he's capable of. So we're just working through the process and it'll be all right. It'll be fine.
How valuable has uh, Nick McLeod been? He's recovered both of them off. Seems like he's just kind of always in the right spot for you. Yeah, Nick has done a great job. You know, it's you know he's long. He has really good speed, uh, and and he is a super super competitive guy. Like he's very very competitive, and uh, no, he's done a great job since he's been here. He works his tail off. Uh, hardly says two words, but when when that ball's up in the air, he's he's going to go get it, and he he does a really good job. When Ken Brown makes a tackle like he did, is that kind of a once in a year thing? You know, you just hit him perfect. You know, uh, hopefully it's not. Uh, <laughs> hopefully we can get about 10, 12 more out of Cam with that. But uh, no, he, he squared him up pretty good. You know, it was, it's the old school woo hit, you know, make the crowd say woo, you know. So, but no, it, it's, he, did, he did a nice job of just stepping up, and stepping to contact and finishing. Does that pick up a whole team? Whole team? Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. you see the juice from the sideline and, and, and the whole, you know, the, the whole building. You know, and we need more plays like that for my guys. As the resident, uh, been here a long time, guy. Uh, what do you make of the Jets Giants rivalry? What does it mean in this building? You know, the Jets Giants rivalry obviously is big for the city. You know, I've been on both sides of it, so you know what it's like. And uh, you know, it, it'll be a great atmosphere on Sunday. It'll be fun. You know, driving through the parking lot and seeing all the Jets and Giants fans. And then, you know, it's something that. You know, the city talks about all year round, you know, so for bragging rights. So it'll, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Eric Turner, uh, Xavier Gibson has been pretty dangerous this year. Um, you know, I guess just how dangerous is he? You know, for you guys? He, he, he's scary. Like, I mean, ask Buffalo. You know what I mean? I mean, this guy is, he, he, he does a really good job of, of sticking his foot in the ground and making people miss out in space. And uh, he accelerates quickly. And that's that, you know, those, those are the things that you want in a returner to be able to have really good short area quickness and accelerate in a hurry. So he, he has some really good traits about him, and he's dangerous, that's for sure. T Mac, I know it's rare, you know, in today's game for the returner to have that big of an impact to the point where, mm -hmm. you know, you're looking to kick away from guys. Mm -hmm. does, you don't see that much. Is Gibson the kind of guy who, because of what he's put on tape, that you might think about yeah, you know, I mean, keeping the ball away? I don't care who's back there. If we can limit him to no yards, that's what we're going to do. You know what I mean? It's, it's, and, and he is dangerous. But, uh, you know, our deal is to do what we do best. Like, obviously, we'll account for the opponent. But it to me, as a coach, I got to make sure we put our guys in a position to where we can do execute at a high level and be at our absolute best. So. You know, obviously, if, if we have somebody back there we want to keep the ball away from, we'll play some keep away, you know. So, but that's the game within the game, you know. What did uh, last one Corbin Trey on special teams in the summer, and I'm assuming he's probably in the mix. Yeah, Jay Sean did a great job when he was here. Uh, you know, and it was it was tough, but he did he did a great job, and, and I, I love the kid. He works his tail off. Uh, he, you know, he plays hard. He's physical. Uh, and he's a good man and that, you know, I th he's a great teammate. All the guys, I know they were super happy to get him back because he is such a good guy and a great teammate. But no, he's, he's done a really good, he did a really good job in the spring and last year, you know, as, as a young player. So he'll, he'll be fine. Thank you.